I was a child once. But because child in me never got to be a child when I was supposed to be a child, I fear if I formed a generational case of children without a childhood. So trust me, I was a child once. Never shall I be a child twice. But thrice and twice as much I shall be a child my whole life. Thank you. My name is Blessing Chikanyanga. I'm from Zimbabwe. My name is Precious, Precious Sabamba. So my name is Pride Mutuali, popularly known as Mentor. Oh, I'm 22 years old. I'm actually turning 22. <laughs> Wesley, Psycho Chikanyanga, and I'm 24. Kulegile, let's go with them both. It means uh, we prayed and we're given what is good. My parents had to travel abroad to make money for me and my siblings. One was seven years old and another one was five years old. I was still a kid and I was still at school as well. Um, I was trying to focus on a lot of things at the same time. So I've gone through a lot of depression um, because of that and there was no one to talk to. It was very hard to get like mentorship from um, relatives. At the age of around 15, that's when my dad passed. He was working at this at the White House, White Guy's house. He was a gardener actually. So when he died, it's like that's when everything started to be hard for us. I was with my mom and my sis and a little brother of mine. I was like at that puberty stage where you have all these mixed feelings as a teenager, you know. Then there's this other thing. Your dad dies, ah, uh, what are you going to do? There's school, ah, uh, what are you going to do? And there's your mom, she, your mom is sad, and you have to comfort her. We, we were just comforting each other. In my community, people fought a lot. I grew up seeing my dad and my mom uh, fighting uh, a lot, harassing each other in front of us, me and my brothers and my sisters. So it actually affected me mentally. I've been an outcast for like some time, trying to get myself right, trying to get my mind right, trying to discover what, uh, who I am, what I can do, what I can be. It was a challenge having to accept having a father and learning why he left in the first place. And it, it was even worse when he left again and never showed up. I felt mostly helpless. It was really hard to maneuver myself around and like, try to accept the kind of person I was becoming. So I learned a lot about my family from the father's side and everything. That was a difficult time in my life. I struggled for like half of the whole year. Uh, actually, it's been long since I spoke to anyone, to be honest. But in short, I can just say I struggled mostly with depression. I couldn't express how I felt to anyone because I felt like the burden was already heavy for them. I couldn't even talk to my mom. Even if my mom asked me, what's wrong? I, I would just say, I'm fine. But I will be pretending to be real with you. I was lying, yeah, <laughs> because it was really hard for me. My dad, you are uh, right. He is a writer, so he used to write acts, yeah, for students in high schools and stuff. So the little he would get, he would be like, "Okay, I don't have shoes, but I choose for you to wear shoes." Like when they had to pay for my fees, they had to be like, "Okay, we are really going out of budget, but as long as you're going to school, I know someday you're gonna give back." Right, so that burden, I still have that. I kind of 
fell in love with uh, drama at first. It was a, a good experience uh, to see young people telling stories, um, you know, that they cannot normally open about to some uh, someone else, but they could easily put it into art and um, act it out, act how they, they felt. So we figured that art is actually a, a huge tool that we can use because it comes in different ways. It can be visual arts, it can be film, it can be music, but it still communicates the same thing and it brings people together in the same way. In the art world, we do understand each other. <laughs> So it helped because I would take away my, 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 my thoughts from all these traumas, all these other things that were disturbing me and just focus on creating something better, something lively, something that would like motivate, something that would inspire me and others as well. Writing about my issues, writing about my father, writing about my mental health has been therapy on my own self where I can heal and express to someone else. You also realize that when you're performing some piece, you'll find someone else who connects to what you're saying. So it helps a lot. I'll be like, okay, I'm feeling depressed. Fine. I need to find my brushes. I need to find my paints. I need to find my canvas. And then I go let it all out. Like, okay, I just feel like I need to put yellow. I just feel like I need to put blue. Whenever I feel like crying, I just put it all in art. I would draw even something like a person crying or a person melting the other half. <laughs> ah, that is a <laughs> easy, easy jackpot. So art really became uh, a, a huge therapy in my life. It changed my, my mental state, everything I used to see. Now I know where to put uh, my feelings. Now I know I can't keep my feelings for long inside me. Like, as for a male figure, it's hard to, to even uh, say out your feelings, like you, people call it a taboo also. But as for me, I now express myself with paint and I'm, I feel like, I feel free as a bed.